Hi there, I'm Peter Millard and in today's video I'm going to be trying to resurrect my little air quality monitor. That's coming up next. So longer term viewers and subscribers will know that I managed to screw up my little air quality monitor last year by filling it full of paint. Uh, I went out and bought another one straight away because they're very useful little gadgets to have, especially in a workshop where you need to keep an eye on you know, the, the, the amount of dust in the air. Uh, but while I was looking for the replacement, I discovered you can also get a replacement part. Now, and just looking at this little thing, there's not a huge amount to it. Uh, the front part is mostly a display by the looks of it. Uh, and the guts of it, it seems to be this sort of modular sensor. This is about 16 or 17 pounds, and the whole thing is about 38. So I'd bought another one anyway, but I thought for the sake of 16 or 17 quid, I might as well buy one and see if we can resurrect this particular one. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do now. We're going to pull it apart. I'm not sure if I actually need to take, just looking at it, I might be able to get at it just by unscrewing this bit, but I might need to take the top cover off. But we'll, we'll begin with unscrewing these four little corner screws. Keep them safe one and in order. Tiny little self tappers. And that seems to be all there is to it. I don't know if I can just ease that out of there or not. Okay, that's the bad one. Uh, I assume they only go in one way. That's the good one. And that's the right way around. Should probably have a little spludger or something to push that down. I didn't doubt. Use a small piece of plywood. Seems like that faces the opposite way around, like that. In case it's not abundantly clear, I've no idea if this is actually going to work or not. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we found out that it's not the sensor at all, but the cable? Uh, okay. Now I don't have another USB uh, widget. Right there, man. That's the good one. I've got a battery. It should do it. So if I power this up, assuming the battery is charged. Oh, 
What happens? I'll give that a minute to uh, sort itself out. But that does appear to be working. So there we are. Now these aren't uh, calibrated. They're not exact, so you wouldn't expect them to be identical. Uh, but they're, they're displaying, you know, within reasonable tolerances, similar sort of levels. Uh, the yeah, the newer one is flickering between one and two uh, PM two point five, uh, and we're, we've got seventeen point three percent reading on that one and 16.4% on the other and the relative humidity values are quite different but uh, you know for what we want to use them for which is actually on the next screen just to check the relative levels of sub third of a micron zoom out a bit oops sub third of a micron particles if you typically at rest get a a value in the low hundreds and then it goes up to many thousands and fairly obviously you know that should trigger a warning bell for you and it's time to switch on the fan or the extractors or or whatever else but it looks like uh, a simple 17 quid replacement sensor will actually get these back up and running which is really interesting so there we are as with so many of these things it's taken far far longer to get around to <laughs> replacing that sensor than the time it actually takes to do it uh, but good to know that we can uh, replace that little sensor in there and get your cheap and cheerful air quality monitor back up and running i became to uh, came to rely on this especially when i was doing my spraying last year and i was getting all the overspray uh there, there was essential really to to give me guidance on how much paint how much spray was actually getting in the air so it was a real loss when it started giving crazy readings as I say I bought another one straight away uh, but good to know that we can just replace that sensor part for 15 to 20 pounds a uh, link in the video description to both uh, the air quality monitor and to the sensor uh, but that's it for this video thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time take care